Um, there's been a few uh, comments recently on some of the videos I did where people are quite surprised at some of the species of trees we've got. Uh, like we have Douglas fir, we have western red cedar, um, we have uh, redwoods. Uh, there's actually there's a few further up where, where I'm standing now doing this, but I won't have time. The light's going rapidly here. Um, so I thought I'd just stand here. There's a little grove I know that uh, there's some fairly nice trees, isn't there? Look at him now. Uh, not the tallest in the world, although, again, further up from where I'm standing now, and this is, you can just see through there, look, the river, lovely little river running, um, is the tallest tree in Ireland, uh, 202 feet, it's a Douglas fir, um, and that was measured in 2013, so it's got a little bit bigger since, but I won't have time to get up there. As you can see, look, they're, they're a reasonable sort of size. These would have been planted in 1860, 1870 uh, as part of, of an estate look at him there um, so th th there's some really nice stuff here but like I say it was just a quick a quick look sorry if I'm jerking the camera around a bit that it's um, I keep standing on <laughs> bloody cones there we go look look at him there there then so we go through there we go a nice Scots pine there you can probably just about see him so I'll toddle on back down here. It was just to let uh, other people see. And of course, that's everywhere in Europe is stuff like this. Um, we have a very temperate climate here and stuff tends to grow very well. So like I say, without the absolute heat of, say, California, we don't, the height doesn't really get there. Um, but they're plenty big enough, as you can see. Um, hard to, I'd imagine it's quite hard to believe that I'm stood on the bank of a small river in Ireland. Um, but there we go. I hope that's not moving around too much for you. Okay, so plenty of uh, cedars down here, a few cypress. Um, there's one. It's a nice size of a tree, look. Um, there's actually just, I'll just go over here a little bit. There is just here in front, uh, just that fella there. That's a Monterey cypress. They tend to, uh, of course, you get them in Monterey Bay. Just through, you can just see through the trees there, look, Chilean pine. They grow quite well here. There's a grove of them there. There's a lot bigger ones at the back. Uh, real good sized specimens. Um, there we go. Nice cedar there. Um, as you can see, this isn't, um, I suppose this is what we'd have to call as near as we'd have to first growth. Uh, they were planted intentionally um, for effect. Uh, so this is as near as we'd have to that. Now then, look at the side here. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'll try and get into a bit more of light there. Like I say, the, the light has gone very quickly today for me. We'll just have a quick look and see what this comes in at, out of curiosity. Now again, sorry if I'm moving a bit quick there. I just want to try and get this done. Um, I've been trying to nip down here for a little while just to show you what's lurking in the undergrowth. Um, yeah, he's a nice sized tree, isn't he now? Uh, now I've risen up there a bit, so I've come up off the swell there a little bit, but uh, let's have a look now, where are we? 35 feet around. Now I know that's not exact and it was a bit, uh, a bit quickly done. There we go, look, lovely river. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, lovely spot this, isn't it? Uh, like I say, sorry, it's, uh, hopefully it'll be light enough. Um, so I thought it was just a sweet chestnut there. That fella, grown like a pair of horns, isn't it? I know, not too far from here, there's some very, very nice sweet chestnut on another estate. Um, so there we go, just a quick look at what we have hiding in the undergrowth here. Um, of course, ivy is the curse here. Look, you can see up there. Nice size, isn't he? Okay, folks. So there we go. Some nice Douglas, uh, some nice cedars. Like I say, there's some lovely reds here uh, further up uh, into the estate. Really uh, first-rate trees. Um, some more cedars here, look. Douglas cedars through there. Big old Corsican pine through there. Well, look, I think the, the light is probably getting a bit bad there. I'll just leave this running for a few more moments. I come through here. Um, 
just to let you have a quick look there we go look at him with the big old stem going out towards the river there lots of cedar down here a few cypress nice nice cedar there look and then just a closer look at this fella here um, is a Monterey cypress uh, macrocarpa um, and you might have him cut down by tea time but uh, might be here for a while longer cutting it into bits they tend to grow wild here like this not particularly uh, oh, they're an imposing tree but not particularly pleasant to work in I can tell you that much I'll just quickly here do this for fun uh, just to see what this big old twin stem is like um, big old cavity there look um, yeah. yeah there wouldn't be a lot of usable timber in this would there no, really right what have we got there so that's 32 feet so it just gives you an idea of um, different stuff we have here and it's not all tiny spruce trees um, more Chilean pine over there Scots pine yeah nice isn't it what a lovely place okay thanks for looking take care